Welcome to 100 Glenstone Drive here in Chelsea, Alabama. And let me just tell you, this house is sold. I'm so grateful for that. And this house here was built by my husband, Jay Williams, about two years ago. In fact, this house was the very last house that he built when materials started skyrocketing and getting hard to um, actually come by. They were scarce um, and windows were taking a year to come in because of COVID. He took a break and this was the very last house that he ended up selling. So we recently put it on the market, had nine showings the first day and four offers. And we were thankfully able to bid this up for my home seller, um, uh, well over asking price. And in a market where um, things have considerably slowed, we are so extremely grateful. Now she had already relocated back home to Kentucky and my job was to come in and make sure that everything was ready for the market. She uh, had taken most of her stuff with her, but the furniture was still here. Um, uh, and my job was to analyze the house, figure out what needed to be done, get that done, package it, get the photos done, put it on the market and negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. It's my favorite thing to do. But I thought I would share with you just how special it is because this house at 1,900 square feet um, is one level and uh, it's got three quarters of an acre with it. Um, it is not in your uh, traditional garden home community. My husband built most of the houses in this community and it is out, it's in the country, um, but yet, uh, it's got a sense of community because it does have sidewalks and uh, it's just a nice little area. Um, people absolutely love it here. And this is the sample or example of really what's desired right now in today's market. A one level that is not so next door to someone that you pass the soap in the shower <laughs> with your neighbor. <laughs> You got lots of elbow room here, and uh, there are just some really special touches to this house as well. So as you can see, some of these um, wooden beams that have been put in, the wooding trim here, and the two-story uh, foyer, and the uh, 20 plus foot ceilings in here as well. But I also wanted to share with you um, some touches that the homeowner herself had requested whenever um, Jay built this house for her. And this is the shiplap island here. Got a lot of character, a lot of detail here. And of course, um, it's got the quartz counters, but he also built this custom banquette that she wanted and drew on a napkin. And it's got storage in it, which is so much fun, right? Like you just don't find these kind of things in houses these days, especially where everyone is really, um, maybe the finishes are nice, but the custom details just weren't there. Um, uh, that's what makes this place so special. And you can even finish out a bonus room as well and have a fourth bedroom and a third full bath if you wanted to. Uh, this floor plan itself that he picked out um, is just highly desirable. So I love the story behind this. Yes, we got it bid up and all that good stuff when the market is slowed, but my favorite part of the story is Several years ago, um, I went on a listing appointment. Uh, um, a sweet lady saw me um, take everything out of my car, all the junk out of my car in a video. <laughs> and uh, she laughed so hard at the stuff that I was pulling out. She said, okay, this is my girl. She called me up and said, you have got to come sell my house. So uh, I didn't know her, we didn't have a relationship. I walked in and she's like, look, I love that you were such a mess with your car. And as she's telling me how she wants to sell that house and she wants a smaller house, and she said, you know, Jenny, where I really want to live is this neighborhood called Glenstone. And it's not far from here. And I said, no way. <laughs> I said, my husband built all of those houses um, in that neighborhood, but maybe two. I said, and guess what? I have the very last lot available. Um, we can uh, actually build you the house that you want. Let me show you the floor plan that he was thinking of. And it just worked out beautifully. And uh, this is my fourth opportunity to work with her. And um, she uh, and her husband, it were just they're just a delight. They're just so joyful to work for. And uh, even though she was gone, we took care of everything for her from getting touch up paint done to getting uh, power wash on the outside, getting the front doors painted and ready 
um, to the, the back porch getting power washed. Um, we took care of all of those things so that we could get top dollar for her. That's how much we care about our clients and that's how much it matters to us. We take this seriously. And I hope that you enjoy 101 Stone as much as everyone else has.